Welcome to the Be The Dad podcast. My name is Matthew Armstrong, father of three. This is part of be the dad movement.com. This is episode one. There's no app for that. If you want to grow self-confidence and self-worth in your kid, there is literally nothing else in this world that compares to quality time with dad. You know, there's apps for virtually everything you do on a daily basis. Just last night, I was helping a friend and uh, it was late we were talking about eating, and he, he said, have you tried f- the Favor app? I don't know if you've seen this, but there's an app called Favor where you can pretty much get anything delivered to your door by somebody who is an independent driver who will go to any store, any restaurant, whether you're talking about chewing gum, barbecue beef ribs, or toilet paper. And they will deliver it for you. In this case, uh, we were both really hungry and it was pretty late. And we got to order from Velvet Taco in Dallas and got an amazing uh, full rotisserie chicken with some corn tortillas, pico de gallo, and elotes. And it was lovely. There's apps that are designed to help your memory. There's apps to help you learn another language. But when it comes to quality time with your kids. There's no app for that. Now, I just want to jump into this and tell you that the angle I want you to consider today when we talk about quality time with your kids, I want you to consider your child in your mind whining and complaining and fussing, being disrespectful to you. Dad, I want you to think about that child. And as you think about that child, I want you to face that child and recognize that that behavior, that negative, whining, complaining, disrespectful behavior may very well be the sign you need that there's not enough quality time. I know many of you right off the bat that are thinking right now, yeah, but Matthew, you don't understand. My kid is different. I know there are parents who have circumstances that most of us don't, such as a kid with disabilities or health concerns. Uh, That's not who I'm talking to when I say this. If you think your kid is different, you need to shut up and stop making excuses. Your kid isn't different, and neither are you. You are an ordinary, imperfect man with the God-given responsibility to love and lead your family, regardless of what that family looks like, regardless of where you've been, regardless of your circumstances. You have a responsibility to love your kids. When it comes to making quality time for your kids, there's no app for that. Have you ever noticed how women will act like they don't want to be around you only in the hopes that you'll want to be around them? It seems crazy, but in reality, we do the same thing. Don't tell me you're too proud to admit it. We often act disinterested and emotionally detached precisely because we care. And instead of men saying how they feel and addressing those feelings directly, many of us will just change the way we behave towards the other person as if that hopeless nonverbal communication is somehow going to make the situation better. Of course it doesn't, and sooner or later, when we've had enough, we'll use words to communicate how we feel and show you just how much was left unsaid. I want you to let this really sink in. 
oftentimes that poor attitude and disrespect you get from your kid, that could be a sign that your child feels that they really don't matter to you. Acting out is one way they can prove that they do matter whether you like it or not. See, your child has a deep yearning for feeling that they are important enough that they deserve your undivided attention from time to time. When you make the choice to get off your phone and turn off distractions to focus your heart, your mind, and specifically even your eyes on your child, when you are focused towards your child with a posture that says, I want to be with you, I am interested in you and just you, something almost magical happens in the heart of that child. Despite your imperfections and flaws, you are a really big deal to your kids. You matter way more than you realize. And one of the most amazing things about quality time is that the benefits to your children are not dependent on how you father your kids in all other areas of your life. So regardless of how you feel about your role as a dad, about how good or bad you've been as a father, no matter what people think about you as a father, your kids can uniquely benefit from quality time with you regardless of everything else. And here's why. It doesn't matter what you've done. It doesn't matter how crummy of a father you've been or how crummy other people think you've been. To your kids, they love and adore you. They're wired that way. When you take time out of your life to focus on being with them, that love and admiration they naturally feel for you, they then feel reciprocated and received from you. Imagine you have this hero. Imagine there's this hero that you have towards a man in this world and that you look up to and that you would just love to be with and spend time with, that you just think they're the best. And that person, out of everyone in the world, that hero of yours comes and says, in my case, he'd say, Matthew, I want us to spend some time together, just me and you. If my hero spends time with just me and focuses his attention on just me, How do you think it's going to benefit my life? How do you think I'm going to respond? How do you think I'm going to feel after having that time, that quality time? How would you feel about yourself? How would you feel about your self-esteem, your self-confidence? What about your self-worth? See, the truth is all of us naturally would feel more self-confidence, more self-esteem, and more self-worth when that kind of reality happens in our life where we've gained this sort of self-empowerment, everything else in our life is affected in very positive ways. We're willing to take more risks. We're willing to step out more. We're willing to be better. We're confident that we're worth respect and that we can give love We can handle the ups and downs of life better because we know we matter. That's giving you a small glimpse into what it means to your children when their hero, that's you, dad, chooses to set time aside where there's no distractions, no friends, no Facebook, where you connect with that child and you say, I'm really glad that I get to spend this time with just you. And when you spend that time, that empowers and gives life and self-confidence and security to your child in a way that nothing in this world will. Dads, I want you to consider that The science of early childhood development has proven that this loving attention quality time brings in your relationship with your child, 
literally changes your kid's neurobiology. Their brains become more capable and more developed in all the right ways. The ability to communicate, the ability to handle stress, the ability to empathize, to show love, the ability to care, all these essential character traits for becoming healthy, strong individuals. The neural pathways responsible for that kind of activity in our brain literally grows through this type of quality time between you and your child. I want you to embrace the challenge. Let's be honest. Few of us had dads that practice what we're talking about here. Sometime I'll share with you my own story, but for now, I'll just say that my own experience as a child was motivation to learn how to be the dad. And I bet the same is true for many of you. It's important that you realize, though, regardless of where you come from, we need to embrace the challenge of quality time. Because for us, it is a challenge. I mean, there's so many distractions in this world. We're not used to giving our undivided attention, our attention and consistently being divided everywhere. It is a challenge. But as you will see, it's not really that hard. And I can tell you from experience, the more you practice it, the more you yourself begin to enjoy it because you begin to reap the benefits. How do you tell your kids they matter? Make no mistake about it. Quality time with just you is the only way to tell your child that they matter to you, period. Your house, your gifts, your stuff, your hard work, your paid bills, your assumption that, quote, my kids know I love them, unquote. That simply won't cut it, dads. What makes quality time quality? This is important. Many dads don't know how to judge quality of time. I certainly didn't. What is quality time? What is time that's quality versus other time that's not? I mean, just ask the women in our life if we understand quality time. But the way you make your time quality is by cutting out all other distractions and doing things that promote your connection with one another. I'm going to break this down for you, some real-world examples. Whatever activity you choose, and I'll give you some examples. When you get started with your child and you've made sure you're off your phone, you're not talking to anybody else, it's just time for you and your kid, you look that child in their eyes and you tell them, I'm glad I get to spend time with just you. During your quality time, look for opportunities to compliment your child in small but genuine ways. Let them know that you are noticing them, that you're looking and noticing the quality of who they are and what they do. And it doesn't have to be anything big to be able to say, I like the way you found this or I like the way you did that. Let them hold a little power that's age appropriate, of course, with what you guys do. It could be as simple as, should we go this way or that way? Let them influence you and influence your time together. This is another way that you communicate to your child that they matter. Now, as men, I know this is what you're thinking. Some of you, can we just, you know, play video games and watch movies and that count for quality time? Because I do that really good. Um, watching a movie or playing a video game is way at the bottom of the list of quality time. It's on the list, but it's way at the bottom. And if this is your only quality time together, then the answer is clear. No, this is not, this doesn't count. As long as you aren't distracted with your work, friends or Facebook, smartphones or any of that mess, giving your undivided attention to your boy or girl is going to be pretty easy. Your kids don't need or even want all your attention, all of the time. However, if they don't get all your attention any of the time, 
you are asking for trouble, sooner or later, they're going to demand your attention. Ignore the kid long enough and they'll be sure they have your attention, even if it's yelling at the top of your lungs. Your kids are smart. They understand that you have other responsibilities and interests. They do too. They just need times where your responsibility and interest is focused solely on them. There's nothing wrong with that. That's healthy in any loving relationship. It's necessary. I've seen with my own eyes the impact on my relationship with each of my kids after they've gotten quality time with me. They naturally want to listen better. They're more pleasant to be around. They're better able to handle life's ups and downs. I've gained more respect with my kids. And it's taken some time, but this practice has helped me learn how to tune in better to their interests and to let go and have a lot more fun. Thank you for listening. My name is Matthew Armstrong. This is Be The Dad Podcast. Be sure to subscribe and check out our website at bethedadmovement.com. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you next time. I'm a, my audio, my single audio, my single audio, my single audio.